Kathy uh, works uh, in rehabilitation uh, for physicality. She's like a nurse for people who've gone through surgery, etc. Um, she's also a young mother. She has a child uh, with a man in a, from a previous relationship, and now she lives with her present uh, husband and have a little baby on the way. He's adopted, but he's from another social class, and I think they've enjoyed um, sharing and, and uh, sharing experiences and, and different backgrounds. Uh, I also think that he is a bit more uh, impulsive and in the moment. And even though we see in the film that that sometimes uh, makes him end up in quite tricky situations, I also think it gives him a uh, quite beautiful personality that is very playful and very alive. And I think that's something that she really treasures in him. And I think she also sees a man who's brilliant with uh, the daughter that she already has. Uh, he's bringing, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a wonderful father. And I think uh, that is what makes her very excited that, you know, she's soon going to start, you know, an even larger family with him. Justin is fantastic in the film, I think. He's an incredible actor and I loved working with him. Uh, to have a director who is an actor as well, I think is, uh, just gives so much. Because if it's anything that a director uh, needs to come to terms with during, uh, you know, the time when they're on set is how to communicate with actors. That's uh, the, the main thing and then to have someone who knows what it's like to be in your shoes and be in front of the camera it kind of immediately gives you a, a, a language that is very straightforward it's a very universal subject because it's a quite intimate story about the meaning of what is family uh, then it also have, handles the subject about uh, all, uh, all of these adopted children, not only in America but around the world, who've ended up not having uh, their papers properly filed and that they end up in a situation where they don't have citizenship really anywhere and that they can grow up in a country and call a place their home and their friends and close one their family and suddenly someone can say that they don't belong. I hope the audience uh, maybe have a similar reaction and feeling that I had when I read the script the first time. I was um, so um, emotionally engaged uh, in this intimate story about this family. I did not know uh, that there were so many adopted children, uh, not only in America but in, around the world, that is uh, that actually lives in a situation where they can legally be kicked out out of the country that they've been raised in. Uh, that made me go in and do a lot of research and, and read up a lot more about the subject because I almost couldn't believe uh, that it was true. That uh, this is pop, uh, that this is something uh, possible in the society that we live in, uh, but it is. And I think with uh, any of these stories, it's 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 always great when I end up taking the time to wanting to know more about these stories, and then I kind of thank Justin and people who bring these very important stories to life. Jesse, why you call me dad? Because you're my dad. Because you chose me, just like I choose you. <laughs> I stuck him. I don't understand how they can deport him. He was adopted. I was brought here when I was three. I'm not leaving my family. You know what? Go to the moon with you, right? Don't go! Hey, baby girl. I ain't going nowhere. Buru Bayou.